what a guy. Would not recommend to a friend. <laughs> yeah, this is a fresh one. I sort of scoped it out a couple of months ago. I knew it was possible, but haven't only just got up here to actually make it make it workable. Tiny bit of digging, but I'm not a fan of digging, so minimal. I don't know. If it's real gnarly, I feel like you sort of, I don't know, visualise it sort of landing it for ages, and then hopefully when you do it, you actually land it. Because if you just think about crashing the whole time, the likelihood of you crashing is probably quite high. <laughs> God! Oh, yeah. insane, <laughs> Not the smoothest of landings, but God! <laughs> yeah! Sort of like that, I guess. It's fing massive, man. Yeah. They never look big on videos, though, do they? If you make something look easy, it just makes it look small. Probably should look more rowdy. Currently on Huck Gear, final hip. Some of the, you know, the old dogs, ham dog. Hey! Do something cool! That's how you'd normally hit it, I guess, but what's, what's, what's the point of being normal? It's boring. You can either hit left or you can hit right. Most people go left because the down amp's way bigger. But if you get towards the end of the, the hit, I thought it'd be quite cool to actually jump off the, take, the, ta the landing, so it's not even a takeoff and transfer into sort of the old track. It was taped off, but it's not taped anymore. So you'll go off, and a bit of a hole there, so you don't really want to land in that, but relatively safe. Oh man, that's so sketchy. Oh, well, on to the next one, eh? So yeah, we decided to um, gap a few corners here. They've put a few too many in for a straight bit of track. So you can either gap just one corner and land there, or you can go the full distance and land on the far one. I did it in my last edit last year, so hopefully it, it all goes to plan. But I'll give you guys a demo. Let's see you normally ride them. Well, uh, this is the infamous gap where I managed to uh, break my femur. We got vertigo here and huck here. And I sort of transferred from vertigo into huck here, and then back from huck here onto vertigo. And like, you sort of come on the berm, drop in, and it's fine, but it was the very last shot of like filming the whole video and I was like, oh, I really wanted to make it to the, I don't know if you can see it, the knoll, what's well, huge and I did make it there, but I just made it off my bike and on my leg. <laughs> managed to snap my femur. As you go off the lip, you know it's going wrong. And you can see me sort of trying to get off the bike. And then I sort of rolled to a stop off in those bushes and I was upside down. And I like looked up and my leg was kind of going up and then like that. I just knew instantly I'd broken my femur. I was like, oh no. Never say, what's the worst that can happen? That was my uh, initial quote when I dropped in. <laughs> I didn't die, I guess. Thank you. 
normally it'd probably come down and you'd sort of I guess do a little double and then there's a tabletop around but uh, one of my mates pointed out heaps of people just point gaps out they don't want to do and they just suggest I give them a try <laughs> so you thought you could jump from this, the edge of this ta the take off and make backside down on that water bar well it's quite long but it's definitely doable I've done it before so I hope I make it this time <laughs> Yo! <laughs>